Hi, this is Kevin at the Virtual Planetarium at Raritan Valley Community College. Welcome to our weekly Star Talk. Today we have a random assortment of things for you. Uh, we're going to talk about people up in the ISS. We're going to talk about cicadas coming up. And of course, we have a Mars update for you. So hope you enjoy the show. Um, before we get started, let's talk about our moon. So the last quarter moon is going to be on May 3rd. The new moon is going to be on May 11th, and then the first quarter moon is going to be on May 19th. I know we said last time we were done talking about Mars, but there's so much happening that I think we've decided to make a weekly Mars update. Um, so first let's talk about where is the Perseverance rover. For that we're going to use our handy dandy map, and we can see that it really hasn't traveled too far, and that's because the focus of the mission so far has been the Ingenuity helicopter. So on April 25th, we had our third successful flight of the Ingenuity helicopter. Um, this flight was interesting here. We have a video of it um, because the helicopter actually moved forward about 50 meters or 164 feet. And then it came on back and landed in the same spot. Um, on April 29th, we had the fourth successful flight. And a cool thing about this one is that it stopped to take images every four feet. Um, so also very important and good steps forward. Um, I believe the last mission is planned for May 7th and that'll be the fifth and final flight that is planned for the Ingenuity helicopter. So after that, I will stop spamming you with information from the Ingenuity helicopter, but I still think it's just so cool that we're able to fly a helicopter on a whole other planet. Now, a few weeks ago, we mentioned that there was a uh, mission going up to the International Space Station. The Crew Dragon 2 from SpaceX was taking two American astronauts and two international astronauts. That mission was successful on April 24th. They reached the International Space Station then. And so that means that we currently have 11 people in the International Space Station. That is a lot of people for that very small space. Don't worry, not everybody is staying there for a long time. These are three different missions. Um, here we have a picture of everybody that's currently up in the International Space Station. The back row we have the Crew 2, the Crew Dragon 2, that flew up on April 24th. In the middle row we have astronauts from a Soyuz mission MS-18 that flew up on April 9th. And then the front row we have people from the Crew 1 mission. They've been in the International Space Station since November 16th, so they have been there the longest. They're going to be leaving on May 2nd, so when this video is published on that afternoon, they're going to be making their way back to Earth. Um, so we won't have 11 people up in the International Space Station for long, which is good because it's a great place, but it's not built for that many people for such a long time. We have very sad news this week that has to do with um, space exploration, and that is that the astronaut Michael Collins has sadly passed away. He passed away on April 28th. He was 90 years old, um, and he was one of the three astronauts that were part of the Apollo 11 mission. Michael Collins was the pilot for the command module Columbia that was orbiting around the moon, so he didn't actually set foot on the moon, but he was an integral part of that mission. He was the sole person orbiting the moon while Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were exploring the moon, were the first people to set foot on the moon. And he was very important to that mission because he was in charge of piloting the command module and reattaching the uh, lunar launcher. In my opinion, he was also the funniest of the three. If you haven't gotten a chance, there's this really neat website that's called Apollo in Real Time. Um, I'll put the link for that uh, website in the description. And this is actually a recording of the whole Apollo mission. So you can hear the astronauts talking with Houston, with Mission Control, and you can hear the back and forth between the astronauts. And it's really interesting to hear this firsthand, hear everything that happened during the mission, and just hear the conversation between the astronauts as they are out in outer space. And again, just listening to the whole conversation, Michael Collins was the funniest of the three. He had the best one-liners, and I just really enjoyed listening to that whole thing. So if you haven't gotten a chance, just listen to a little bit or explore the Apollo in real time website, and it's really neat um, experience. 
If you're in New Jersey or on the East Coast, you've probably seen on the news that there's gonna be a lot of cicadas emerging soon. And that is because one of the periodical broods of cicadas, known as Brood 10, is going to emerge shortly. So periodical cicadas are ones that emerge in very, very large numbers in cycles of either 13 or 17 years. Brood X is part of the 17 year cycle cicadas. Um, and what happens is when the soil gets warm enough, when the soil reaches about 64 degrees, billions of cicadas will emerge almost at the same time from the ground. These cicadas emerge in huge numbers because that's the only way they can defend themselves against predators. Because there are so many of them, the predators can't eat them all, and that is how they survive, which is pretty interesting. Now don't worry, even though they're really, really loud, they can't hurt you, they don't sting, and they're not venomous. Um, they're just really, really loud, so they might be a little annoying if you're not used to them, but it's still really cool that they emerge in such huge numbers every 17 to 13 years. Now let's talk about a few things we can see in the night sky. Um, this is actually going to be a continuation of what we talked about last week. So last week we used the Big Dipper to find a star called Arcturus, um, and this star was in the constellation of Boötes the Herdsman. Here we have the constellation of Boötes, here we have the Big Dipper. You use the handle of the Big Dipper to arc to Arcturus, but we're going to take this a step further today, so we're going to arc to Arcturus, and then we're going to speed on in that same direction to a very bright star called Spica. This star belongs to the constellation of Virgo the Maiden, and this is also a springtime constellation. Now the whole constellation of Virgo is actually pretty hard to see, so the only part that's easy to recognize is that bright star right there. Um, but another way to know where it is in the sky is to know that it's actually right behind the tail of Leo the Lion. So if we remember from a few star talks ago, we also used the Big Dipper to find Leo the Lion. And Virgo is just off the tail of the lion, so that's how you know where to find it. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you learned something new. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, please do that. Each week we're going to come out with a new video where we talk about different things. And see you next week. Have a good one.